Hi everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel, it's your hero Pinky. And I'm changing up a little bit on my uh, videos because uh, I have decided that I am not a minimalist at all. Um, always have been a maximalist, tried to do the um, Con Marie thing, tried to do the minimalism, get rid of stuff, and I went back and rebought all the stuff. Stuff that was lost in floods, hurricanes, um, and I got it all back. Uh, this here is my bar cart. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, shop with me today, thrifting uh, this weekend, uh, what I did. This here is a chair that I got thrifting, let me see, probably about 12 or 13 years ago. I know I've had it for seven years. I was in the cabin. My mother had it prior to that, and I had it prior to that. So I probably had it about 13 years, and I paid under $4 for that chair. Really do like that chair. I painted the legs gold, which I'm probably going to paint them silver, because I am in the process of painting it country white. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to see how that turned out. Uh, this I got from a thrift store. Well, it actually is a flea market in Sheridan, Texas. Um, it was a dollar and it doesn't work, <laughs> but it's still cute. I can still use it. Uh, got this a couple days ago. Oh yeah. And I also have a roommate. So you always see random things that belong to her, like the walker, the car seat and the high chair. So these tours, apartment tours of maximalism is for me and my roommate, the baby. Uh, so you'll see stuff of hers in here because She's a maximalist too and can't even walk. I found this piece of fabric and I have another stool that I want to put on that. Just want to change up the whole vibe. Of course, I'm still going to have my pink and my Barbies. Um, that's one of my gallery walls. But what I really want to talk about today is the, the Goodwill, the thrift store, the flea markets, the Texas thrift um, that I found over the last two weeks. I've been wanting to do a DIY of a generic uh, antique brush. <laughs> and I found this one today for $3. Really don't need to do too much to it, but I'm going to do something to it. And I think that comes off. Also, I found this, which was really, really cute. Picture frame. Going to put the baby in there. I found this for $3. Uh put my fruit and stuff in there. What I've been trying to do is uh, repurpose and uh, refine, the, if that's a word, that ain't even a word, find the things that my mother used to have in her house because mother had a beautiful home growing up. Y'all ever been in a house where you don't go in that room? Mama had one of those. With the carpet was white. The furniture was gold and white. You can stand at the door and look, but don't go in. So I'm trying to repurpose that. And I got this. Today, it was also $3. Now, I typically don't buy pillows secondhand, especially ones that I can't wash, but I'll steam it. And it's going to be able to go with this chair right there once I get it painted white. I also found this says, Mimi, you are special and loved. It's antique-ish looking. I got it because it said Mimi. And also, I got this from another thrifting day out. Kind of vintage... And it was $1.99. This, I think, is super, super cute. Where you can hang uh, pictures from the little clips. I think this one was $2.99. So I have some pictures, some old pictures from uh, great-grandparents and grandparents. And, you know, go way, way back that I want to put in one of these uh, frames. This I've been had, but it's going to go on my gallery wall. Also have some mega tea lights, the big tea lights, $1.99. I thought this was so cool. It's a living life. And what I plan to do is like put my mom and my dad's name down here at the foot of the tree and then just go up uh, with me and the kids and uh, have our own family tree. This was 
$8. Now, typically, when I go thrifting, I try not to spend over $10 on one thing. Unless it's something really, really going to benefit me. This was, it says $4.99, but green today was 50% off, so it was two fifty. And I'm going to use the frame and some of the uh, design index. I don't know what none of that say. Here's another frame to put uh, family members in. I had originally picked this one up for the kids. I wanted to put the kids in there, the grandbabies. It was $3. And it came down to $1.50. This one was $5 and it wasn't on discount. So I got this one for the kids, for the five grandbabies. Put their pictures in there. Also, found this little thing. It was $2.99. Just needs a little cleaning and a little love to go with it. I found these in Sheridan at the flea market. They were a dollar a piece to go with the table. This had been sitting in the thrift store every time I went in there. So today I'm like, it's time for you to go home. It kind of matches that uh, pillowcase. It was $2.99, $1.50. Then I have these two pillowcases that get some pillows or stuff some uh, winter clothes in there. That's one of them. And it kind of goes with that, but that goes for the kitchen or somewhere. And then this one. So yeah, those are my thrifting hauls for the last couple of weeks. Um, like I said, we're getting ready to do some apartment tours, some maximalism tours, because I am not a minimalist. Uh, it ain't that you you collect stuff and it becomes hoarder. Uh, but you collect stuff because you love it. You collect stuff because it makes you, my stuff makes me feel good until I have to move. <laughs> so when I have to move, I hate it. But uh, when I'm just sitting here and looking at it, like looking at my Barbies, uh, my journals, my Bibles, uh, everything on the wall has a meaning and a purpose. So yeah, we're going to uh, jump into some apartment tours here real soon. Uh, but I want to paint this chair. I'm going to paint this tomorrow and see if it take the white. So let me know what you think. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back with the next video. Thank you for coming in. God bless.